What a double date episode and level two cheat is just nailing it week after week. Straight up, I had the lowest expectation for this anime. Saw the title, saw the poster, I thought, great, another garbage isekai, let's do it in the first episode. Pretty lackluster. But then Fermi showed up, and ever since then, it's just been fucking just on point, bro. Even the stuff with the fake hero and the gold digger, they got a shovel, that the shovels for the gold digger or something? They put themselves in the hole, they can't even get out. It's actually peak, bro. This is what happens when a show knows its identity, doesn't take itself serious, focuses on their strength, right? And goddamn, it is delivering. I hope Bali Rosa and Mao Sama gets together, and there's a peaceful way of... I don't know, humans and uh, demons coexisting, but there is a problem, right? There is some sort of, I forget the actual name, but basically it's like miasma. The more monsters are around, demi-humans or whatnot, the more the humans can't, you know, exist in the same space. So I'm sure, you know, Frio is gonna figure out some way to purify and cleanse that and have everyone live together in harmony. And Bali Rosa and Maus at my wedding, that's gonna be the key. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's our little second bear, I forgot. We should open a restaurant. We should open a restaurant. I just realized the peak design of this shirt. So like... I always looked at these straps on the side, and the straps is obviously alluding to something that it's coming off, right? When it's like, when you see a girl with this kind of thing, and the, the straps are coming off the side, it's, it's kind of like... It's like a trigger in the brain, it's like, neurons activated. But it doesn't come off because the actual design here, it holds this up. So the gray part actually holds their shirt up and then the straps are literally there no reason other than just accessory to make the connection in your head that it's falling off. It's actually pretty smart design. One day, next season. We do have a BBW Elf anime coming. We'll watch it. Don't worry. It's, it's coming. Not this though. Not this Elf though. Next season. It's coming. You did that without the cooking. Hamburg steak. <laughs> Hamburg steak. Yeah, I guess it's kind of for... I don't know. In Frieden, it was also a celebratory meal, but back then, the culinary arts hasn't really improved. I doubt it's really improved here either, but all right, these are for kids. <laughs> oh, Mo. No. Oh, princess! Go away, princess. We're chilling here. Dun, dun, dun! The secret's out! Frio knows, no, Fenris knows this. She knows this. And we even approached her and said, hey, do you want me to go back my previous form? And she was like, nah, I know you're here like this now, so I'm fine with this. There's no problem there. Wolf and adventurer. Alright, break out the expensive tea last, guys. A royal's here. As in, get the fuck out of here, peasants. Yeah, get out of here, you poors. Fair. 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 <gasps> Damn! <laughs> she was so happy about that. And then she's like, wait, wait. Gotta lock in. It's like when you captured Kanye smiling on cam. And he's like... <laughs> Goodness, Bali, you got some cheeks up there. Get out of here! You're covering your cleavage! I ain't gonna be your Yusha! That's right, you fucking scammed us from the beginning for us to die! Every Isekai MC has been a merchant recently. Okay, magic stones? Oh, we need you to purify again. Good. Y'all fucking deserve it. Ah, no, we can't be doing that, right? We need to live in peace. 
しかし我が国の魔導士たちの魔力は枯渇し完全には勝つことはできません。It's not even the princess's fault either. I'm just giving him a hard time for no reason. I'm just giving him a hard time for no reason. I'm just giving him a hard time for no reason. I'm just giving him a hard time for no reason. I'm just giving him a hard time for no reason. I'm just giving him a hard time for no reason. I'm just giving him a hard time for no reason. 魔族とつながっているフリオ様のもとへ大勢の兵を差し向けの言葉のおつもりで私はこの国王の代理権限がある今しか不敬罪及び偽罪の勇者の任命責任について Hold the king on trial in public This is gonna be like Shield Hero Season 1 with Malti But like You know that was hot I don't really want to do that shit to this old ass man, bro. That's the thing. You can, you can just get out of here. Furio Sama Niva, Sono Tamini Gojuruku Onegash, Konokuni, or Mamote Kimashita. Desma, but the greatest danger is himself. Alright. Sono Tameniva, Kokarno des. Tana Sama, Skate, so bad. I kind of want to. Well, Dark One did come to us and, like, you know, he kind of was trying to poach last episode in the double date. I, I don't think we... There needs to be a way for peace. And we just need to figure out how the humans and the demons can coexist with the miasma and have Bali Rosa as the wife in a political marriage that's born out of love. And I feel like that is the answer. <laughs> To make sure he's not sliding with the enemies. Yeah. Hanakara Ojo Samoa, Boko Konota Mister Totio Skuritakuna Toyuna Mahonshin Desnoyo. Toa, let's go tell her boy go. Sokoa Kotirakara Shimeser, Saida again, Nasma. Doka Kono Hitoki Ochikara Okashkudasai. You should not. Oh, the shitty! They got a bounty! There's bounty hunters for the shitty hero! That's a fucking whole ass bird, by the way. Honestly, they're gonna hide. They're gonna pop off in the brushes right over here, right? Three, two, one. <laughs> Three. <laughs> the gold digger also has the fucking, you know, the shovel, bro. This is great. Her design is actually peak. Oh my goodness. That's just. Whoa, wow! <laughs> Dig a hole, hide in there. <laughs> Cameraman just made sure to have the most important thing in frame. It's the stomach grumbling, but it's like we can't just go to the stomach. We gotta make sure everything is in frame. Alright. Aww. She can have those little cookies. I feel bad. I actually kind of feel bad. They're just like on the run. They're running out of rations. He's like, just eat the cookies, goddammit. I'm doing this for you. I kind of want to see them succeed somehow. <laughs> What's happening here right now? Are we actually developing love plot for these two? I can't tell if this is genuine. I, I straight up can't read this girl. If she, is she actually just dumb and loyal? Or is she like super cunning and this is all an act? Maybe she was never a gold digger, man. Maybe, maybe they just are meant to be. <laughs> Come on. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Tiny as <laughs> That's fucking sus as hell. That's the fucking. How did that tiny spider just take down these two, bro? They just showed up out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> That's right, the other plots I've been seeing. Remember her? The Masuche secretary of the demon lord's brother who was like, you know, abusing the ground and she fell out. She's like, oh, oh, and she's fucking smacked this thing, rock piece, hits her head, nosebleed. Oh, <laughs> Alright, they're captured by the demon lord's brother's secretary. What's worth? They might somehow. Also, I heard you, Fenris. If anyone wants to join your bed. But these idiots? Somehow. 
what if this is their redemption arc in some? I don't know. Because, like, right now, like, the demons are kind of, like, the baddie. And, and like, the obvious real villains are just, like, the brother, right? And if they're getting kidnapped, it's... I don't know. It, name... The author might do something crazy. And it, maybe there is fucking redemption after all. And he's gonna be like, shit, he was kind of heroic at the end of this arc. Somehow they're gonna fucking solve it. In bed. He is watching. Secretly. うん。本当は争い事なんて嫌だけど、でも何もしないでいることなんてできない。旦那様。世界で自分は何をすべきか。何をしたいのか。もしも人種族や魔族の子供たちと一緒に笑顔で暮らしていける。that's right, if we get married and have a kid, it's gonna be human half demi human, right? Same in Bali Rosa and Gozal or something. <laughs> I love how they did that. Put some shading over this, make it look more serious by doing this. Yeah, this is out of the manga panel or something, guys. Yeah, importance. Uh oh! Uh oh! Demon alert! Demon alert! Destroy alert! Destroy alert! The demon general is coming! Kid, what are you doing? No! Oh! What was today's episode title? The wolf and I forget. But Fenris and Fudio are gonna adopt. This, uh, you know, this different disguise. Fenris is gonna return to beast mode. Dana someone's gonna wear a fucking wolf hat, and then we're gonna like save people without adventuring or uh, declaring our names or something. Wolf and adventure. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that mask is. <laughs> Just put on the fucking fursuit, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. Fenris is okay with that. Then I shall deliver justice. These fucking NPC monsters, man. <laughs> the slime was really trying hard. Oh, it's a fucking Cyclops. Cyclops is the strongest? Oh, brute strength, maybe. Fenris, take him out! Does she still got it? Yeah, but skill issue, right? Really? Lupine's valley's military might above all else? I did not know, but I guess that's why she was so fine with Brother Dang and saying skill issue and just marrying Dang Nasama because power. I feel like Clifford is about to happen though. No, not yet, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, this is rare. Seeing a Fenris fight in beast mode. Also, this is count. The, the... Just, just, I don't know. I'm just doing the pause and everything, right? I mean, you, you think this is intentional? I don't know. I'm not a furry, so I, I, I don't get turned on by this. But you know, I, I feel like this is kind of intentional. <laughs> この程度の狩り攻撃で俺様を倒すつもりかよ確かにその just drop the trees. Holy shit, Fenris! So Fenris talking mad shit. You can't do anything about it. Danasama. How many magic circles is this, bro? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
what the fuck? Whenever you have magic circles cascading on top of each other and then even like flipping the fucking plane of dimension into like vertical, you know this shit's fucking cracked. <laughs> Oh. <笑>ヒールデム。一体何をするんだ。天魔法で君たち全員を出らべざの森へ飛ばすことはできるけど、ただの人種族だよ。<笑> Oh, I wish he would have said this is my wife or something and I could have made a fucking funny furry joke right now. But alright, you're just friends with the demon. Oh, kill you. Oh, look at that tail go. Look at that tail go. Oh, she coast us? Aww. That's so nice. But like, what Fenris is teaching us how to be scary? You probably put your hand on your hips, raise your chin 45 degrees. I'm serious. Ooh. 45 degrees tilt. Gaze at them. I don't know if that's gonna work in real life though. リース。それじゃ、人種族と魔族の間の憎しみをいたずらに増やしてしまうんじゃないか。That's my wife. 彼女は僕のパートナー。Partner, yeah, partner, right. We are the wolf on the adventure right now. あ、助けてくれてありがとう。怪我がなくてよかったですわ。Okay, so we're acting on behalf of the first princess. Declaring our identity, I guess. But I wonder how Goza would feel about this. Princess will be able to make the connection. Yeah. Giga-chad. Reports say... He disperses the Dark Army's forces, then simply leaves with no explanation. Giga Chad. That's why we credit the first prince, though. We're even doing a PR campaign for them. Imagine they think it's the fucking fake hero. Oh my god! We need to get rid of the bounty! The fake hero's doing such a good job! No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah.私の願いを聞いてくださった。各種に連れた冒険者を見かけたら全面的に協力するようにと。はっ。今度は私がそれに報いなければ。Kind of favor. Hmm. Yo! Yuigata is the brother. Insurrection! Infighting! They're taking over! <laughs> Lil bro took over! <laughs> Wait, what's her name? What's her name? Fufun. Her name is Fufun? <laughs> Fufun? <laughs> oh. No! The fucking fake hero! Not the gold digger, I think she actually cares. Sacrifices? Dear God, that is the spider webs, man. So now, who's gonna save them, right? We have to save them. We have to show up and do it. So, well, maybe, you know, the dark one will do it when he returns or something. But this is getting interesting. <laughs> Would Gol actually care about them? This is an interesting twist, but we knew that this was getting set up last episode. Alright, that's the episode. Today's episode, continuing on with this peak story ends. What happened to Bonnie and Clyde here, bro? They got captured by Fufun because now they're being used to sacrifice some kind of hostage. And um, it's like a bargaining chip to... 
for the insurrection against Goal, but like, let's get serious. Young bro, little bro is getting fucking corrected next episode. Wonder if Ryu will have any part to it, but I feel like Gold might just handle everything, but I don't know. I, I, I am really interested in these two characters, how they're being positioned, how they're going to play out. Will they get a redemption? What about their fucking bounty? Maybe they just serve as servants at the fucking Demon Lord Castle. Who really knows? The wolf and the adventure personas, you know, we can have a little disguise. We can go on you know, without declaring our merchant name and save everybody in the behalf of the princess's name. That's like a fun little, I don't know, vigilante work. So that's kind of nice. So the arc is now positioned for an infighting between the demon lord and his younger brother next episode. And you know that during the fight, like there's got to be a moment where they're like fighting. And then, like, some, like, debris or some kind of rocks or something, right, during the fight is gonna hit Fufun. And she's probably just gonna moan out, like, oh my god. Can you imagine that? Just, like, rocks falling down. She's like, oh! I could totally see that, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.